in a moment we'll be crossing live to Israel for the latest on the looming ground incursion. But I just want to show you the latest pictures from Gaza. As you can see there, these have come in a short time ago. Again, smoke there in the area, in the built-up areas of Gaza. No word yet, though, on that ground incursion getting underway as so many Israeli Defence Force personnel and so much of their equipment masses at the south of Israel and around the north and, of course, east of Gaza. Let's go to Tel Aviv now and catch up with Major Libby Weiss, who's the IDF spokesperson. Thanks so much for joining us, Major. Uh, can you give us any word on that ground incursion? Is it underway yet or are your troops still waiting there for the go-ahead? Well, as, as you mentioned, that's something really that the government would have to decide upon. So at this stage, the, the IDF is prepared for whatever decision the government uh, may make. Uh, and that's, that's the situation as of now. Now, the US President Joe Biden is due in Israel on Wednesday, your time. That'll be Thursday, uh, our time. Uh, is there any possibility that this ground incursion would be held up until after that visit? Is there any chance that could be a precondition of the president's visit? Once again, uh, I, I would leave those decisions, of course, to the government as they they are the ones who, who have to make those. Uh, the IDF will be prepared, whatever it is that they that they decide. Um, but it, it's a decision that may, that's made on the diplomatic government level and not, not on the military level. Yeah, OK, I understand that. Then on the operational aspects, we've just seen smoke arriving in Gaza now. Presumably, you're still conducting aerial raids on Hamas targets in Gaza? Correct, correct. Right now, our focus truly is on making sure that Hamas no longer has the military or administrative ability to launch horrific attacks like the one that we saw last Saturday morning, and, and the IDF continues to do that. And you can, can you give us an update, Major Weiss, on what's been happening on the northern border, of course, where you have Hezbollah terrorists across the border in Lebanon. There have been missiles coming across that border, and Israel has taken action against Hezbollah as well? Yeah, so we have seen several attacks uh, by Hezbollah from Lebanon in the last several days. The IDF is responding immediately to those. Uh, and again, the message is very clear and one that has been delivered by our allies, of course, as well, uh, which is to not engage in what is taking place right now. And of course, the IDF will, will respond to those attacks uh, as, as they happen. Just a couple of things uh, before we run out of time, Major Weiss. Firstly, any update on the hostages? Have you been able to pin down their location? Can you tell us whether or not there have been any unsuccessful operations to retrieve them? Well, last night we saw the first sign of life uh, in a video of 21-year-old Mia Shem, who was at the festival, uh, saw a video that was released by Hamas. And of course, we see this as just another attempt by Hamas to wage psychological warfare on the Israeli public. Uh, of course, we are deeply, deeply distressed about their well-being. And I, I would have to say here that the fastest way for them to come home safely is for Hamas to release them immediately without any conditions and without any terms and without any distinguishing uh, between Israelis or foreign nationals. Uh, but of course, we understand that Hamas is going to likely continue in this uh, psychological warfare attempt, very similar to what we saw ISIS do uh, in the past with their hostages as well. Just horrific. And of course, you're absolutely right. They should all be released now with no conditions. And just finally, can you tell us how many, uh, how many uh, civilians in Gaza have been able to move south to safety? And, and, and do, you, do you believe there are any more still trying to get out? Well, I, I don't know to tell you the specific figures. Uh, of course, it's something happening within the Gaza Strip. But we put out that warning several days ago. We are encouraging anybody in the area to move down, to move to the area where the IDF instructed them to do so. We know that Hamas is attempting to stop them, uh, making that movement difficult, of course. But uh, well, Hamas is responsible for their well-being. And we have given them that warning. And we very, very much encourage them to follow as much as possible and for Hamas to allow their civilians to move away from danger. 
Major, thanks so much for joining us and giving us uh, that update. I appreciate it greatly. That's Major Libby Weiss, who's the IDF spokesperson, joining us live there from Tel Aviv.